there's some really smart guys who are in the tree care industry and working to try to figure out easier ways to get things done. And in conjunction with manufacturers, we've come up with some excellent equipment and some excellent techniques. Sometimes it can be a challenge to understand the advantages of some of these tools and techniques. So in this case, we're trying to explain the advantages of a rigging block versus a natural crotch. So we've got our log here uh, suspended by the rigging line through the natural crotch down attached to the porter wrap and we have this nifty little uh, measuring device that measures the force of this part of the rope and it says 22 pounds so this log weighs more than 22 pounds it's the natural crotch up there that's not allowing the weight of that rope to come to this side now we did the same thing about 10 minutes ago but instead of a natural crotch we had a rigging block up there everything else was the same except that we put a rigging block instead of a natural crotch. This number of 22 went up to 74. That's a big difference. With the rigging block, the weight of the, ro the, weight of the log is able to go up the rope through the rigging block and come down the other side of the rope because there is a lot less friction in the rigging block than there is in a natural crotch. So for ropes that we use for rigging, we want to try to load them as evenly as possible. That allows us to use as much of the strength in the rope as we can. So where we've got friction and natural crotches that don't allow those forces to move through the rope evenly, then that's just not a good practice. So using rigging blocks instead of natural crotches eliminate that problem or greatly reduce it and it makes it so that your rigging rope can be used properly.